Stephen. here in South Texas again and when I say South really South Texas that train you just saw was between Donna and Westlaco on that Rio Valley line and believe it or not we're standing here in the parking lot and there is a random train car parked here which David is in front of so they've made some effort in the past uh, decade to really improve the, the line here but you can see these rails are nearly buried on this, and there's just a random piece of rolling stock sitting here. So there appears to be two sidings here, no industry. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of industries down here, industry opportunities off of the siding, and a, a lot of them are not even used. This is one of them, but like I said, they've made a lot of effort in the past decade to replace the ties on the main line and get industries to come down here and they are starting to use them more. So we're gonna show you another one in here in a second that is in use that we find pretty interesting. So we're here at McCoy's Building Supplies in FAR and they have an active siding here, which I thought was pretty cool because you don't see tons of building supply stores, at least in the rest of Texas, right near a siding and got permission to be in here so you can see there's room for a few pieces of rolling stock through here and they're unloading and I think they're expecting somebody to come pick up today See, they've already unloaded this one. So here's a shot from outside. See, there's another uh, train car down there. So this is a kind of uh, kind of place David and I are looking to model because we have room on the one part of our layout for an industry with about two box cars. Is what we're planning. And you can see how this comes in a little bit of an angle. It's not attached to a building. So it makes it pretty easy if you have a small amount of space, you want to fit stuff in on the layout. I think that's it for this video. So until next time. Signing